Welcome, friends, to my channel. Good to see you and today I want to tell you about something important that will be useful to know. After all, it can save your wallet from waste. It started, Arkets dropped for second straight day on Fed hike fears. US equities index has moved lower on February 6, with the previous week's jobs numbers casting a shadow on interest rate expectations. The Nasdaq fell 1% during Monday's session, while the S&P 500 declined 0.6% and the Dow posted a minor loss. Companies that are sensitive to increased interest rates, including tech firms and home builders, saw their stock prices decline. Last Friday's losses for U.S. equities carried over into the new week on concerns that recent data showing strength in the U.S. economy will allow the Fed to continue its inflation-fighting interest rate hikes. The Nasdaq lost 1 percent, the S&P 500 dropped 0.6 percent, and the Dow slid 0.1 percent. Anticipation of rising rates sent bond yields jumping for a second straight session. Stocks that are sensitive to increased borrowing costs lost ground. Tech stocks, including Apple Amazon, Alphabet, Cisco Systems, and Celeste First, felt. Intel shares sank 4%. Shares of Pult Group, KB Home, and other home builders dropped. Nike, Walgreens Boots Alliance, and Walmart were among the retailers whose shares declined. Tyson Foods shares tumbled as the big meat processor's profit and sales missed forecasts, and it warned about full-year operating margins. Shares of Newmont Corporation were down after the gold miner increased its offer to buy Australia's Newcrest Mining. Shares of video game makers take to Interactive and Activision Blizzard lost ground ahead of their after the bell earnings reports. Warehouser shares dipped after BMO Capital lowered its price target. Shares of Dell Technologies were lower as the PC maker announced thousands of layoffs and said market that conditions are continuing to erode. However, the next company found some success and showed its strength in the market. Tesla share advance Catalan was the best performing stock in the S&P 500 on a report that Anner Corporation is considering acquiring the pharmaceutical solutions firm. Shares of Lowe's climbed as the multifaceted holding company's profit and sales increased. Tesla shares gained after Wedbush raised its price target. Shares of Campbell's Soup, Hershey, and other food makers rose. Oil futures added more than 1 percent. Gold prices were higher. The U.S. dollar advanced against the euro, pound, and yen. Major cryptocurrencies traded up. After all these things, I would like to point out the fact that many investors simply must have knowledge of financial literacy. How to invest money where you really need it. Ray Dalio, legendary investor and New York Times best-selling author has some advice for investors for what could be a choppy year and why diversifying your portfolio can reduce your risk by about 80 percent. Dalio has over five decades of experience navigating financial markets as a global macro investor and is the co-founder of the world's largest hedge fund, Bridgewater Associates. He is the author of the number one New York Times bestseller principles, Life and Work and most recently, Principles, Your Guided Journal. Below is their edited conversation. Legendary investor Ray Dalio says diversifying your portfolio in the right way can reduce your risk by 70% to 80%. Understanding economic cycles and what causes them can help you gain better insight into what to expect in the markets. Dalio has been a global macro investor for over five decades and is the founder of the world's largest hedge fund, Bridgewater Associates. Return to risk ratio and diversification are the key to mitigating risk silver if you had to think about putting money to work for the next 25 years, what are you thinking about as an investor, as a retail investor, who has access to the types of products me and my listeners do? The second thing is that the key is your return to risk ratio. Risk and diversification are of paramount importance, and the fact is that, if you diversify well, you can reduce your risk by 70% or 80% if you take uncorrelated, good things. And if you have the right diversified portfolio, that means you can increase your return to risk ratio by a factor of five by knowing how to diversify without reducing your returns. So finding good, uncorrelated return streams is of paramount importance. Understanding history and economic cycles to gain insight into the market silver, this all brings us to kind of where we are today, cycles repeating over and over again. How do we take the work that you've done and apply it to how we think today, both professionally and also as investors? That's when the economy is in recession or weak, 
inflation is low. Then central banks produce money and credit. That causes the pickup. It carries it until inflation rises and the economy is hot. Bubbles occur, then they tighten money, and then that changes interest rates, which changes asset prices, and so on, and then you go through that. So that's a cycle. They've lasted an average of seven years, plus or minus. You have to know where you are in that cycle. We know where we are in that cycle. You have to know how they work, and that affects your expectation of what markets and pricing will do. Also important information for you, my friends. Be sure to study this topic thoroughly, while it is quite hot and relevant. Crypto prices to recover as DCG, Genesis, Gemini, and creditors reach agreement. Crypto prices news, digital currency group plans to sell Genesis Global Trading and bankrupt lending business Genesis Global Capital as part of its restructuring agreement with creditors. Genesis creditors expect an 80% recovery under the proposed restructuring plan. Additional recovery of funds depends on a convertible preferred equity note and realized liquidation prices based on DCG and Genesis assets. Does the agreement mean crypto prices will continue to rally now? DCG reaches agreement with Genesis creditors. On February 6, Genesis Global Holding announced it has reached an agreement with digital currency group, crypto exchange Gemini, and ad hoc creditor groups. Under the terms of the agreement, DCG would exchange its existing $1.1 billion promissory note due in 2032 for convertible preferred stock. It will also refinance existing 2023 term loans valued at nearly $500 million to pay back creditors. DCG will contribute its Genesis Trading Equity shares to Genesis Global Hold Co., the holding company of Genesis Capital. It will bring all Genesis companies under the same holding company. Thereafter, Genesis Trading and Genesis Capital will go through a sale process to return creditors' funds. DCG and Genesis Global Holding expect to exit bankruptcy in four months. Gemini co-founder Cameron Winklevoss tweeted that Gemini will contribute $100 million more for earn users as part of the Genesis restructuring plan. He asserts it demonstrates Gemini's continued commitment to helping earn users achieve a full recovery of the assets. Crypto prices to recover as FTX contagion subdues advertisement The crypto market's spectacular recovery in January would likely continue this month as traders believe the end of the conflict between Genesis and Gemini will improve market sentiment. Bitcoin and Ethereum prices are already started to recover after a pullback. Bitcoin price is trading at $22,933, up 1% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, Ethereum, Polygon, Litecoin, Avalanche, Aptos, and other crypto record upside momentum in prices. The information is not the most favorable. The status of cryptocurrency is becoming more susceptible to imbalance. How will Bitcoin move next? Binance suspends United States dollars transfers as banks withdraw support. Binance has announced a minor, temporary suspension for United States dollars transfers on its exchange platform. The suspension will begin tomorrow, February 8, 2023. Citing the withdrawal of support from certain banks, Binance took to Twitter to announce its position on the matter. From February 8, we will temporarily suspend all United States dollars bank transfers. Only a small proportion of our users will be impacted by this, and we are working hard to restart the service as soon as possible. All other methods of buying and selling crypto remain unaffected. Binance February 6, 2023 as mentioned, all other trading and transfer activities on the platform will remain operational, given how the suspension will only affect a small number of users. It is not certain at this point whether these suspensions are geographically distinct or whether these are based on the banks partnered with Binance. At the time of writing, no perceivable disturbances or spikes on both the BNB chain and its exchange smart contracts have been detected. While some banks have been withdrawing support for crypto, other banks are moving in. Some setbacks were expected from last year's incidents, Binance chief Changping Zhao said. Zhao was making references to the downfall of FTX, whose founder Sam Bankman-Fried now faces a number of charges for fraud, money laundering, and trust law violations. Binance's suspension of United States dollars transfers is expected to be short-lived and should not cause any major repercussions for its users' crypto exchange activities. The crypto exchange plans on issuing more information regarding the United States dollars transfer suspension, 
when it can provide an estimate on when operations will resume. Binance is one of the industry's more mainstream crypto exchanges in the world and continues to be a major player in crypto exchange markets where traders can make crypto conversions easily with minimum fees charged, especially if a user opts to facilitate these trades with BNB, Binance's native crypto asset. With over 350 assets listed as across its platform, Binance facilitates roughly $38 billion worth of transactions each day. As has already been said about Bitcoin, the situation is repeated with its little brother Ethereum. Let's get to the bottom of it. Will Bitcoin and Ethereum crash? DCG sells Grayscale Trust shares. After a long back and forth, the Genesis and DCG drama appears to be coming to a relatively smooth end after Genesis reached an agreement with DCG and other creditors yesterday, but a price crash could be looming as DCG is forced to sell shares in its Grayscale Bitcoin and Ethereum trusts. As the Financial Times reports today, Digital Currency Group has already begun selling shares in several of its most valuable grayscale trusts at a steep discount. The sales are intended to raise capital to pay creditors from bankrupt Genesis trading. Bitcoin and Ethereum crash looming. The information is based on US securities records seen by the news outlet. According to them, Grayscale's Ethereum Trust is currently the focus of DCG, where the group sold about a quarter of its shares in several transactions since January 24 to generate about $22 million. The company is selling at about $8 per share, although each share is entitled to $16 in Ether. This is simply part of our ongoing portfolio restructuring, DCG said. GBTC, which holds 633,000 bitcoins, appears to be untouched so far. Whether DCG also plans to sell its shares in it to raise liquidity is unclear at this time. DCG purchased nearly $800 million worth of GBTC shares from March 2021 to June 2022 in an attempt to keep the discount from rising further due to a lack of demand. This gives the company an estimated 9.67% of the trust's outstanding shares. In the event that DCG needs to raise more cash, selling these shares may seem like an option. However, selling them could have a massive impact on the discount to NAV, which is already at 43.08%. In addition, it should be noted that by law DCG cannot sell more than 1% of its outstanding shares per quarter unless it receives separate approval from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. In the absence of such approval, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust sale would take approximately 2.5 years for DCG to sell its entire shares. Generally, the situation is uncertain at this time because it is not really clear if the even GBTC sales will have a direct impact on the spot market. This depends on who the Bitcoin and Ethereum Trust shares are sold to and under what terms, whether DCG allows redemptions to provide liquidity at par. A warning of a Bitcoin and Ethereum price crash would therefore be premature. It's also worth noting that DCG has initiated smaller block sales of shares in its Litecoin Trust, Bitcoin Cash Trust, Ethereum Classic Trust and Digital Large Cap Fund, according to the report. DCG and Genesis reach agreement with creditors yesterday, it became known that Gemini has reached an agreement in principle with Genesis, DCG and other creditors on a plan that will provide earn users with a path to recovering their assets. As part of this initiative, Gemini will also donate up to $100 million to earn users. Under the terms of the agreement, DCG would also swap its $1.1 billion note due 2032 for convertible preferred stock issued by DCG. In addition, DCG would refinance its existing 2023 term loans with a new junior secured term loan in two tranches to be paid to creditors in the aggregate amount of $500 million. One piece of undetermined information is at what value the preferred shares will be transferred to DCG equity. According to previous knowledge, the new DCG package will ensure that creditors will recover more than 80% of the funds, but this still depends on a convertible preferred equity note, realized liquidity.